to Minecraft Regrowth. I am Shade of Dead, and uh, I figured something out. I figured out why people say you should use the Regrowth or the uh, BD Truecraft resource pack is because I didn't download the right one. There's actually a specific one for Regrowth, and I didn't get that one. So it looked terrible when I had it, but this is it, and it's not terrible ish. I, I kind of like it. They did the crack sand. That's what I'm standing on here. And as you can see, there, there's a wall around me. So th this is like the night of day six. We left on like the night of day two. And then I went and was like, okay, I'm going to go do some stuff. I've turned the weather completely off because it keeps raining. It just keeps. And the only reason why it's raining over there and not here is that this is actually um, the beach and this is the wasteland. It never rains in the wasteland. It only rains on the beach or the ocean. So out there it's going to rain. In here it won't. And that can be useful for some things, but not tremendously, honestly. Um, and uh, you can see I've got some stuff set up. I had to plant some crops. I was starting to starve to death, so I apologize. And I moved all my stuff from the cave down below up to here, so I've got everything up here. Um, and nothing really new has been built. Um, you know, I, I guess I ended up with two crafting tables somehow, crafting stations, and then all my stuff, this is going to be where I'm going to put ores and stuff at first, uh, anything I need to burn, we've got some crafting materials, i got some building materials, and I guess some zombie stuff. Uh, down here I've got my, uh, my, uh, botania, and my, uh, other stuff. What's this stuff called? Uh, uh, witchery stuff. And I got a couple empty chests. Oh, this one's full of crack sand. And you can see I've started growing. So when I first planted, I had just these ones here. Uh, so the the potato from the potatoes down to this guy. And now I've started to grow out my wheat to come on around all the way around, and it's going to slowly spread all the way around to here. And the reason why I can do that is normally if you do this with um, AgriCraft, weeds will grow. But I guess to kind of make sense and that the world is dying, that the weeds aren't going to grow uh, because nothing grows here unless I plant it. See, oh, it's sprouted, and that won't be weeds. That'll be wheat. And it'll slowly get better. And I don't know if you know a whole lot about AgriCraft, but as things spread... The crops themselves become better crops. Uh, they get better in strength, which isn't going to really matter at all because there's no weeds. That's kind of strength is kind of oh I'm not going to get you know uh, stuff's not going to get me because or the weeds aren't going to overgrow my my crops because they're strong. There is uh, growth speed, and there's also how much it produces. So right now like my crops produce like one. So if I go over here and I harvest these carrots, looks like there's four, I only get one carrot. But if I make it better, uh, and I think the highest is you can get four of them, you can get four per plot of land, which is pretty good. And then also, you can get uh, the last one, yeah, growth speed, how much you get, and strength. And we look out here, and we have all sorts of nasty creatures, and they all want to kill me, and it's really bad out there. You don't want to go out there. And if there's some spiders, they're going to be coming over the wall right about now. Um, I do need to put some fencing up on the outside to keep spiders out. And then I'll be fairly safe. Uh, monsters could still walk around the edge and come up here uh, from the beach. But I can fix that later too. But I leveled all this out down to the level where this water was. And I don't know if you remember. This was like two or three blocks high. So I've done a lot of digging, and that's why I have all of this. <laughs> but we're going to get to work today. we got things to do and stuff to see, and uh, we want to get some stuff done. Um, first thing is they want us to make a bucket. So I need to find my clay. There it is. And we're going to craft this up. I guess I could have just done it here because it will show up over there. And we're going to make ourselves an unfired clay bucket, which they are then going to want me to fire... Uh, let's just use some sticks. Why not? Uh, one, two, three. Three's probably enough. Two's probably enough. I guess we'll see. Yeah, it looks like two will be enough. It's going to leave one behind. 
Boom. And we got a fired clay bucket. Yay. All right, so that quest is done. All right, and we're going to get some more dirt and some bone meal. That's nice. The dirt's actually pretty useful. I don't have to go mining for it as much, uh, or hardly at all. This is not how I'll actually finish doing all these upgrades, but I was like, well, I can do this real quick and show you. You can just make a line, and when they spread, they have a chance of mutating uh, one of their stats. And so if you make your line long enough, by the time it gets down to the end, it'll actually be like a 10... 10 10 is what they call it a 10 10 10 seed and be pretty sweet so um they want us to get botania ready they also want us to make we got wheat we got to make sugarcane and mandrake okay so this is not as easy as you might think <laughs> we're gonna have to do some digging here um this will be fine i think this will work And we'll go here, and this will be four blocks out, and it'll give me a few lanes. I don't guess I probably needed to make it quite like that, but... Alright, and then what you do, we'll, we'll till it all. This is my hatchet, or my hatchet, my mattock, and I screwed one up. If you hoe it twice, it becomes this water pad, which you then fill with water, and you can grow certain plants in it. So keep that in mind. There's more than one farmland that you can make there's farmland and then there's uh water land uh you can also need sand for some things i just i just need one of those right now there we go and uh, we'll put the sand here this will be fine oh maybe there we go i'll put the sand down boom okay is this gonna work Yes, this will work. Okay, so then I'm going to... I need to get some grow sticks here, crop sticks. We're going to put one there. We're going to put one there. Now, if you don't double lay it, see how I, I do this? So if you put... I'm going to put one here. If you put two on there, that means it can crossbreed onto it. Okay? Uh, if you only have one, it won't crossbreed, so this wheat will never spread to here. Okay? Um, and so the first thing that we need to make, and it tells you, we have to have wheat. I've more than done that. Um, but wheat plus carrots seems to produce sugar cane. So if I crossbreed carrots and wheat, um, I can make me, boom, wheat and carrot seeds. Okay, so once these crossbreed, they're going to make sugar cane. Now, it may take a couple tries. They may not... It may not do it right. Do I have? Oh, it's probably over in here. Yeah. All right, so I have a little bit more bone meal than I thought. We're going to go ahead and bone meal these up because they have to be mature in order to cross-pollinate with each other. So, boom, we've done that. It's still raining. Let me toggle the downfall. It's really annoying. And the other thing that we need to do... Did I put them in here? I didn't put them in here is I need to get belladonna seeds because we need to make mandrake and mandrake is potato plus belladonna right so let's come over here we already got a potato here I'm just gonna leave it um, and then we gotta do that and we need to plant our belladonna boom and then I need my bone meal again and we're gonna make it full grown make him full grown and then they should spread there Exciting. Watching plants grow. Uh, I'm not going to watch them. But, oh, whoop, whoop. Oh, that's potato. We don't want potato. So if that happens, then you got to slam that down again. And this potato seed is actually going to be a little bit better. See how it says unidentified? There is a way to identify what kind of seeds, what level of seeds you have. What do we have here? Mandrake already. Boom. Headshot. All right. All right. Now, let me get my sword ready. I'm going to try to harvest this. Now, when you harvest mandrake and it's not nighttime, there's a chance that a little mandrake monster will jump out here and try to murder you. Yeah. So, we're going to find out if that's going to happen. I got lucky it didn't happen because they're really loud and annoying. But I got some mandrake root. So, that one's done. Boom. Okay. Now, this one I don't have to worry about very much because... This can't grow on sand, and that can't grow on sand, so I just got to wait for it to happen. If I had a watering can, I could speed that 
up, but I don't have a watering can, so we're stuck waiting, unfortunately. So let's move on to something else until that happens. That, that mandrake happened really fast. Uh, it was pretty cool, actually. Um, and then they want us to do this. So the best way to do this is find yourself a spot that you're going to grow grass. And we're going to dig us out of a little area here. We'll just go, I don't know. We're going to make it big, actually. I want a lot of grass. If I plan on doing bees, I'm going to need a lot of grass. So we'll get some grass going. Maybe it'll make oxygen. Keep us from dying of lack of oxygen. Though, if we're like the only real living thing left on the earth except for plant life, because the oceans seem to be fine. Honestly, if you go down into the ocean, you will see there's coral and there's clams, all of which we will be going to get. Can't right now, though, because I don't have the ability to really hold my breath at all. I just, it's like literally a second and a half and I'm drowning. So um, we'll have to make specialized tools. We'll have to get snorkels and eventually diving suits in order to go down into the ocean and get some things down there specifically clams uh, is one of the big things plus i think we also have to go get natural gas down there so we're gonna build this out and don't worry you're like probably like where's the grass well grass is not a problem it really isn't um because we have magical botania seeds that make grass and lots of it I have several of the seeds too, so I'm not tremendously bothered. And we're just gonna leave it like that. Boop. Use a lot of a lot of dirt. That's okay. I don't mind. Uh botanias down here. So we're gonna need the pasture seeds, we're gonna need the floor fertilizer. Pasture seeds. Um when you take a pasture seed from botania and you slam it down, it does magic boom, I'm gonna make grass grow. And it goes pretty quick. Nope, I didn't do a very good job there. Boom, let it spread. It kind of gets uh, exponential when you put it near other grass. Basically, it just makes the it makes one piece of grass, and then it, it increases the grass growth ticks, grass spreading ticks in the area around it for a short time. And there we go. We've got quite a bit of grass. We're going to put those back. And now we're going to take the floral fertilizer. And all this stuff, all, all these seeds, all this stuff that I have plant-wise and floral fertilizer, uh, belladonna, mandrake, um, or belladonna, potatoes. The potatoes and carrots we got from a quest. The wheat seeds we got from a quest. Um, but the belladonna seeds, the pasture seeds, uh, the floral fertilizer, and uh, stuff like that we all got from punching grass, basically. So we are going to make flowers. None of those are white. None of those are white. This could be bad. I could do this uh, and not get any white flowers. I guess I didn't have to have a grass. That guy popped up there. See if I can do it here. Boom. Yep, sure can. We're not getting any white flowers. This is bad. One more shot. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. All right. Um... That's rough. <laughs> I didn't get a single white flower at all. So I'm going to have to go out and get more. Um, more of this stuff. More, more uh, floral fertilizer. Okay, well, I wanted to work on this stuff today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here. I'm going to go out into the wild blue yonder out here, and I am going to find... Go punch grass for a while. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. We can go around this way. All right, so I will be back, hopefully, with a bunch of floral fertilizer. Uh, I'll be back. Okay. Guys, it's been like three days. I've been punching a lot of dried grass. <laughs> I went out on that island, went around out here, made a big loop, came back, and... It's, I finally, and I would go and get the stuff, and then I would come back, my sugar cane's growing, um, I would come back and try it, and I wouldn't get any white flowers. I'd be like, ugh, and I'd go out the next day, and I'd go to, and, I'd, and I, I got a bunch of floral fertilizer, 
and I made got a bunch of flowers now. But oh my gosh, it took forever to get white ones to pop up. And I finally did. I actually got three. I put the other one in the trunk over there. Uh, so I've got a lot of flowers. Um, let's see, I got a bunch. So um, we've got that, and I can turn that in. And that's going to give me uh, some more floral fertilizer, which would have been nice to have in the first place, and some bone meal. And we're going to take the bone meal. We're going to come over here. We're going to get this thing growing. We're going to get some of that. And now I can finish both that, that other quest, too. Boom. Which then lets me go on here into Mutandus land. Uh, Mutandus is how... I can get trees, okay? And so you've got to, you got to, got to, you got to build that. I'm going to need to build one of these two. I forget how we build this. What is it? All right, glass pane. All right, so I'm going to need some glass sticks, stone slabs. So I'm going to have to cook up some stone and some planks. So I maybe need a tree. I, I might be able to do it with the uh, deadwood planks. That works too. Uh, on a lot of stuff, maybe not on everything though. Um, let's go put this extra tin floral fertilizer up because I don't need it, and I can put these away too. There, and we're gonna do this. Mutandus. Now, mutandus is two mandrakes, a bone meal, a cactus green or floral green powder, and four wood ash. So, how much wood ash do I have? This is this is wood ash. All right, so I've got some wood ash. Um, I have some green flowers. How much do I have to make? They just want one. Okay, so we'll just make the one for now. That'll give me two green powders. And then, what's the other bit? I need two mandrake roots and a bone meal. Well, luckily, it's turned nighttime, so I should be able to harvest this without a screaming mandrake coming up. Oh my god, those things are annoying. You have no idea. If you've never had the mandrake, if you've never done witchery and dealt with mandrake, do not. Just don't try to pick it during the day if you can help it. Oh my gosh, it's starting to spread. We're getting there. And we'll take a look at this. Hopefully when this gets all done, uh, I can go and do the seed analyzer on it and get a really good seed out of it. Maybe a 10-10-10. We'll see. Probably not a 10, 10, 10, but we can try. Um, but we need this. I also am going to need to make a... Oh, shoot. How am I going to make a... Shoot, 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 shoot. Bowl, 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 bowl. All right, slabs. Can I make slabs with this? Oh, it's pressure plate. There we go. We can make slabs. Woot, woot. We can make some bowls. I need a bowl. I need a plank. And I need a stick. There we go. Boom. Pestle and mortar. Now we can craft this with our two mystical green petals. And we will get floral green powder. Which I think was like this. And then we put a bone meal here. And then we put... Oh shoot, I gotta get my other mandrake root out. Where did I put it? Did I leave it in here? I did. All right, boom. And put the mandrake roots here, and then the wood ash around it. And we get three pieces of mutandus. We've crafted it once. Excellent. It's going to say, good job. It's going to give me four mutandus. I'm actually going to get... Should I get eight more of those or eight floral fertilizers? That's a... It's kind of a hard question. I'm not sure... The mutandus actually takes more work to make because I have to use botanium flowers for it. We'll take the mutandus. Uh, I want the selection of possible trees and stuff. Okay, so I've done that. And now they want me to get four of any sapling. Okay, four of any kind of sapling. Okay. Uh, and we can get anything this way um literally any any kind of sapling we can get any sapling four or four <laughs> it says so what you do is you come over here to your grass and we make 
grass with a piece of bone meal and hit it with your you tan this? Okay, I got buttercups. Useless. Red Rover, not what I want. Not what I want either. Not a tree. Still not a tree. Still not a tree. Not a tree. Finally. An oak sapling. Ladies and gentlemen. The first tree the world has seen. In a long, long time. And it grew up pretty big, too. Um, we are going to try to get... Oh, wait. Can I make a crook? Is a crook a thing? I think it is. No, it's not. Okay. Well, then we've got to do this the old-fashioned way. We're going to chop this bad boy down. And we're going to... Tr oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Fireworks burnt my tree down. That would be my luck. Those fireworks have burned my tree down. All right, so now, now we just need to get... See if we can get some saplings from this thing. No choice. Oak tree is kind of a good, good one to get. Not probably the best. I mean, I can get apples and stuff from it. I mean, it's nice to have that. I'm not going to look at the, look that gift horse in the in the mouth. But um, there's three. I just need one more at least here, and we can turn this bad boy in. Make sure it's not a submit one. I don't want to submit. Because then I won't have any of these left. But you just kind of need to get one uh, sapling, depending on the tree. Uh, some trees some trees don't drop saplings. Like, if you got a silverwood one, I would keep it. But I wouldn't count on that being the one you're going to get four saplings from. Because you're probably... You would, maybe, eventually... I've gotten up to two, but I've also gotten none off of um, uh, silverwood trees, like a great, great, great oak tree or great, great wood tree. Yeah, great wood tree. Um, not a pretty all right wood tree, just a great wood tree. That one would probably give you a bunch, but I've got it. Um, I'm gonna get a companion title scroll, which is cool. I'll show you what that does, and I get to pick a tree now. I've got the oak tree. <sighs> See, now there's, there's some stuff to do with witchery. And birch can be useful, too. Uh, let's go look at the... What is it? What do they call it? Um, bottle of... Not bottle taint. Uh, let's just type in witchery. We'll find them. Witchery. Here we go. Okay, so in here, there should be here, all this stuff. Foul fumes. These are made oh, these are made from just a lot of things, probably. From oak wood. Okay, so we've got that one covered. Um, diamond vapor, don't need that. Oil of vitriol. I gotta make that with foul fume and other stuff. Exhale of the horned one. Um, oh, oak saplings. We can get that one, too. Breath of the Goddess. Here we go. We need birch saplings for that. Um, I need spruce saplings for that. Um, I need rowan saplings. Those are what some I'm going to need. Alder saplings. Hawthorn saplings. And... What is this, Breath of the Goddess? What about Drop of Luck? Yeah, it's a lot of stuff in there. Okay. So, we need Hawthorne, Alder, Rowan, and those are all witchery trees. A spruce and a birch. And then everything else is oak sapling. That's made from other stuff. That's made from foul fume and quicklime. Uh, no, don't need that. And that's made from oak logs, oak wood. And that's it. Okay, so we need right now, I thought that was a little X up there. When I clicked on this, I thought this was like a little X <laughs> to close it with. All right, so let's do this. Let's see if we can get some other saplings. Oh, what do we get? 
an umber autumn sapling. I I can't say no to it. Mushroom, buttercups, goldenrod. Another a goldenrod autumn sapling. And an umber autumn sapling. I have no idea what those look like. Oh yeah. Alright. Let's uh let's plant these guys up and see what they grow into. But this is not what I was looking for. So now I'm going to have to make a bunch more of the uh, mutandus here um, coming up. Going to have to make more mutandus as we go. Oh, God, I think I heard it. There are some really bad monsters that spawn out there, specifically hellhounds. Oh, my gosh, they will murder you, no problem. But now we've got that. I guess I can just take one of these chests... Right? Boom. And I can claim my reward. I really hate to pick something until um, I get more. I don't have any more mutandus. We'll pick something. I'll just have to probably make a bunch of mutandus to get this stuff done. But we're going to take either birch or spruce. I guess we'll take birch. That'll be fine. And we get a companion title scroll. And you might be saying, how do you use that? And you know what? I forget where it's at. Is it you? I. No, that's not it. I? No. O? No. Not O. Um, L. There's a special button you hit. That's not it. That's journey map. I'm looking for it. I'm just kind of pushing buttons right now. No known village closer than two... Well, why would there be a village? Oh, cancel. I don't want to put a thing down. That's not what I want. All right. I've got to... Hold on. i got to... got to find this. I never can remember... I can't even remember what it's called. Uh, inventory... Is it... Traveler's Gear Inventory, Numpad 7. That's probably why I couldn't find it. There we go. Okay. I can take this companion title scroll and I can put it in this slot. And it's going to have... I'm going to get Nature's Attendant. And it's going to give us a special rendering effect. Specifically, we get a butterfly. And the butterfly follows us around everywhere we go. And we have Nature's Attendant. And I don't think it does anything other than sit there and look pretty and drop little sparklies on us. I don't think it does a single thing other than that. <laughs> but it's kind of cool. We got a butterfly. There's other ones that you could get, but uh, I guess it specifically gives you this one because you've made a tree. So you get a butterfly. Um, now here, this is Lexica Batania. Alright, so this is what I need to make. And how do I make it? Paper and a f oh, f mystical flower. Well, that is not that bad. I have bone meal that I can use, and there's a boop, there's two, and now three. Perfect. Now I can go make me some paper. Easy enough. I've got flowers, no problem. I'm not gonna use the white ones because I don't have hardly any. What do I have the most of? I wonder. 14 pink ones. All right, we're going to use it with a mystical pink and a piece of paper. And we're going to make ourselves a Lexica Botania. And now we can get into Botania. Ah. Oh. Look at that beautiful thing. Look at that beautiful thing. That probably gives us a new chapter. Let's get some more floral fertilizer, which I will probably be using up fairly soon. Um, and let's see what else we got. And then that goes in here, and they want me to make a petal apothecary. And they're going to give me some pure daisies. How easy is that? Okay. Um, so let's look at the petal apothecary, because I don't remember. All right, so cobblestone, two slabs, and a petal of some cheller. All right, so I guess we'll go pink again. All right, and we're going to put that there. Get our two petals. Put one of the petals back. 
And then let's find my cobblestone. Okay. Let's give me some of that. All right, so we need those. Boom and boom. And boom, boom, boom. Along with bam. Petal apothecary. Oh, yeah, baby. Purity defined. Now, oh, now they do want me to make it. I'm glad I didn't use any white ones. All right, so where are we going to do all this botania stuff? Uh, let's do it over here for now. Yeah, let's do it over here. And I'll give myself quite a bit of room. And we got to get our bucket because we got to get some water. And I'll probably make a water source over here so I can just fill this up from there. Boom. And then, let's see, how do we do it again? Um, let's see, pure daisy. And pure daisies are not that. It's got blood magic in it, so it's going to have this. This always pops up. No matter which Batania thing you get into, that's, that's what you get. Okay, sorry about that. I actually had to take care of something real quick. Um, but we've got this, pure daisies. And what I was trying to say is uh, because blood magic's in here, for whatever reason, whenever you look at a botania flower, this is what's going to pop up first. This isn't something that you're actually going to... It's a tier four flower. I mean, we're, we're a long ways away from that, but it always pops up first. And we got to have four mystical white petals which is why it says you need two white flowers because each gives you two and then I'm going to throw a seed in there. We'll have to go get the seeds here in a second. Four. Boom. Gotta love it. The the simplicity, the Batania is like one of the best well-designed uh, mods out there i'll be honest with you I, I i truly believe that so um this particular guy right here he's gonna get sacrificed to the uh this particular seed here he's gonna get sacrificed to the almighty botania gods and get us a pure daisy oh yeah now we can start making all that crazy stuff it's alive oh and now they want living wood and stuff Urgh, they want 16 of each all right all right, let's look. Now, I, I've i been recording for quite a while. Uh, I don't know how long it's been, honestly, because uh, all the... I've been recording for a really long while. I'm not sure how long it's been because of all the uh, things I had to go do. Um, let's get 16 of these. We're going to have to cook them all up. I should have been chopping trees when I was out there, too, and I didn't. I don't know if I have any... I do have plenty of charcoal. Wow. All right. Cook all those up. And then I need logs. Whoa. All right. Well, that's kind of cool. And we're going to get this guy here. He's going to turn into something, too. Um, or my logs. There we go. We can start with those. We'll start with these oak logs here. We'll turn them into living wood. And then we'll have to do the stone and turn it into living rock. And I'll have all of it. But I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here because I have no idea how long this is actually going to be. Um, and again, uh, I went ahead and I recorded this basically the next like morning after I recorded Regrowth. Because I just wanted to... I don't know. I didn't want to let it sit here. I just wanted to kind of jump into it. So I might end up doing two or three episodes, even if you guys don't really want to watch this. If you don't, like I said, say so. Um, if you don't care, just say I don't care. That, that'll at least let me know, hey, some people are, you know, don't mind either way. Uh, and, you know, it, it makes maybe a difference to me. I mean, I guess I get the final vote on the whole thing, but... Um, I do want to know if you guys are wanting to watch it. If you're not, then I probably shouldn't. Or I probably not shouldn't. I probably won't record it. I'll probably play it still, but I probably won't record it. And so I just wanted to know what you guys thought about this whole situation and all this stuff. So if you want to see more of this, 
say so. If not, say so. And again, um, I'm still going to be looking to see if you guys are interested in watching me like live stream this and come talk to me like in real time in chat um, on Twitch. If you are, then I'd be willing to do Minecraft on Twitch. But right now, um, the situation of Minecraft on Twitch is there's a bunch of people that are pretty well established and they have a lot of people that watch them and I did I even get a sapling oh that sucks oh what a waste all right that's a crappy thing well let's enjoy it. well maybe I should t nah I don't care I was gonna maybe I should save this wood for something but there's only five of them I'm not gonna be able to really get anything done with that that sucks Oh well, I didn't get another sapling for it. Maybe I won't for this guy either. We'll find out. But I, I've got to... Uh... But if you guys want to watch me... So, I guess, again, I'm going to ask you for a couple of things. Uh, do you want to... you want to see regrowth in its current form? Um, which may be updated from some of the other stuff that people have done? Would you like to see me stream this on Twitch? And if you really don't want to watch Regrowth, please uh, give me a suggestion for something to do. Uh, like mod packs that you think would be interesting to watch. Uh, I'd be more than happy to try stuff out. So um, And see if that I feel like that's going to work for me. But I will see you guys all next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there is some work that goes into regrowth, uh, like you saw. Man, it took me a while to get enough to get those white flowers. Oh my gosh, you have no idea <laughs> how much work that actually was. How much running around I had to do out there in that world outside um, and uh, over there and stuff in order for me to get two white flowers. And luckily I got three, so um, that's kind of better. I don't know. It seems like they didn't want to spawn. Like, um, everything else spawned a bunch of, but I only got those three white ones. So maybe they have a low spawn rate. I don't know. But I'll see you guys all next episode. Um, I'll probably do about three of these, and then I'll get a consensus from you guys on whether or not you want to watch these or not. So please comment below. Uh, like the video if you want to see it. Hey, dislike it if you don't. I'm Seriously, I, I don't care if you like it or dislike it it doesn't matter to me so um it, so if you want to vote dislike if you don't want to see regrowth and you want to vote like if you do want to see it that would be great that would be fine and i'll see you guys all um next episode and take it easy see you soon